up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, hello, my name is Carly. Today, I'm joined with Jessica Hover, John Hover, Wheezy F, baby. We are giving this little princess a nursery room makeover. Tell me guys what's going on in this room. Currently, it is a storage trailer. Also, once was a dog's room. A uh, dog lived there, like yeah. Like a dog lives in the room. But basically, right now, you guys are using this room as a storage closet, and it's not currently a functioning nursery. No, I, it's not course. even a, a functioning room. Just want it to be pretty. I feel good if a room is nice. What's my budget that I'm working with? Uh, baby? I'm not made of money here. I'm thinking free to close to free. So far, I've been given a storage closet with no money. Trust you. <laughs> Don't know if I want this dress. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. We are going to make this room absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Carly. <laughs> you Keep don't need out. to be fake, Sean. <laughs> Eloise, how do you want your room to look? Okay. list of requests for this nursery is a little long. Yeah. I hear what you're saying, but I don't know if I can do all of that on this budget. Are you just assessing the situation right I'm now? Assessing the situation. What is, what is your assessment of this situation? Could be better. It looks like a bomb went off. It does look like a bomb went off. It does. Mm -hmm. Not a very fit place for a baby. So the only furniture from their room that was making it in the redesign was this crib and two shelving units which were a very unfortunate green color. So we took the units apart, we began to sand them and paint them all white. Now for the actual bedroom, we decided to go with a light gray because they wanted a color that was gender neutral but still light enough for the room and made it feel nice and bright and open. Uh, yeah, it looks, you know, like white. It's a very soothing gray. We asked a hundred different babies across the country, they all said that this is their favorite gray. I think the crib is dry now, so we're about to go check on the status of our spray paint. Where are we? It's like I'm walking through District 13. What is this? Are we in the Hunger Games right now? Someone died over here. You know that, right? Mom, if I don't make it out of here, I just want to let you know that I love you. How's the crib look? It's turning white. It's turning white. Yes, it's slowly turning Is it like a white. mood crib? What do you mean it's turning white? So the crib needs a second coat. Yeah, looks like it's got a couple bruises on it. Are you, are you pleased with this? I mean, I will be pleased. This part of the room makeover is no joke. I'm about to hand stripe that wall behind me. Measuring out 10 inches on the wall for our stripes. I can feel your judgmental eyes. I don't need this pressure right now. Look at this. Hello. Hello. Look at all this progress. It's gonna get better, it's a work in progress. I know you hate the blue tape, I hate blue too. We'll come back later, she's gonna work harder. I'll do better. Oh, we so got it. Can you give it a 10, Doug? I'll give it a 10. The paint is finally done in here. We're going to hang the curtains above the window, starting pretty much at the same height of the stripe, so it looks like it's continuing all the way around the room. Magic. Does it make you feel like a feminist when you use it? <laughs> <laughs> Carly, your, your outfit blends in with the color of the wall perfectly. Do I look like I'm just a floating head on the screen? You are a floating head. Goals. <laughs> Your show, Baxter. So unfortunately, we can't take the carpet out of here, but we can put something over the carpet. I didn't want to spend the money on a brand new changing table. We sanded them, we painted them with two coats of white paint, pushed them together, and now they look like a completely different unit. Putting these together really gave them the surface, and then we bought this changing table pad from Amazon. Over the dresser, I just put up this mirror, and this mirror actually came from one of my old apartment, technically her fairy godmother, so she obviously had to have something in mind in here. <laughs> Look, she got an outlet for her phone charger. Oh, <laughs> so now we're gonna add some more personal touches by adding this stuffed teddy bear. And this bear was actually Eloise's great grandmother's, and we have Jessica's baby blankets. Not that old. What? Wait, that was not great grandma's bear. No, I said it was a gift from my grandma. Oh, oh, oh the whole makeover is just gone. <laughs> 
Jesus. Things been around for generations. 2000. <laughs> this is so personal and beautiful. It's been in the family for years upon years. Generations. Actually, my grandmother just got it from Target. <laughs> so to make this room even more functional, I put the nursing chair that they used to keep out in the living room in here with the comfortable blanket and throw. I added some white flowers for decoration and then another personal touch with a photo of Jess and Sean from their wedding day. Here is the finished nursery. Their previous room wasn't even functioning as a storage closet, let alone as a baby's room. This new design is fully functioning. It meets all of their needs while feeling light and bright and being an inviting space. This is a perfect room for their baby and any future children they may want to have, and it was done for less than $500. Carly, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. perfect. It's perfect. It's the dreamiest dream room. We can move the baby to our room and we can move in here. Okay, I don't think I'll fit in that room. <laughs> Eloise, what do you think about your room? Are you obsessed? Can you not even? Are you literally dying? <laughs> Louise, are you ready to move into your new room? We love it. Actually, we're gonna list it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy home decor videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single Thursday, and I'll see you next week. Bye! This is Jess and Sean's beautiful little baby, Eloise. So I call Louise the F baby. She calls herself that. What the F stand for? I'm curious. Ask Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get footage of me taping off the room. When we actually do the filming, he can't be in the shot. Why not? Because it's called Martha Stewart living, not Martha Stewart and her five helpers living. That was your cue. You just ate. You can't have another lunch break. It's okay, Carly. She's just a little bit upset. I just need her to be more understanding, you know, like, I just started. She doesn't understand. She has very high standards. Well, she's not like a normal baby. Well, I can't do everything that she's asking me on this budget. It's just not going to happen. Listen, you can make it happen.